The Freedom of Information Act is a 50-year-old law that requires government agencies to respond to document requests from the news media, advocacy groups, and private citizens. A new report from a government watchdog group gives the U.S. State Department the lowest overall score among agencies for handling of FOIA requests, describing states' processing procedures as out of line with any other agency's performance. It says the department only processed 7% of requests it received within the suggested 20 days after they were submitted. The State Department has declined to respond to the report, which ranks it at or near the bottom in nearly every area that it measures. This report comes as the State Department and its former chief, Hillary Clinton, are embroiled in controversy over Mrs. Clinton's use of a private email account and server in lieu of an official work-related one. Some critics and news outlets are theorizing that she may have been trying to avoid the prying eye of FOIA requesters. It was this highly unusual, deliberate system created to prevent her records from being released under the FOIA. Mrs. Clinton's representatives deny that accusation. The likely presidential candidate is calling for the State Department to review her emails for release, a process that officials say may take months, though she's yet to say why she used a personal account instead of a work one. FOIA guidelines state that federal agencies that receive information requests from anyone, even non-U.S. citizens, respond to the query within 20 days. But there's no penalty to agencies for not meeting that deadline. FOIA requests are sorted by most government departments into two categories, simple and complex. Some agencies give simple requests a higher priority because those are the easiest to respond to. More specific requests, and ones involving sensitive materials that might need to be redacted, fall into the complex category. What kinds of requests can agencies deny? Agencies have wide latitude to deny FOIA inquiries or do partial or redacted releases. Classified information is exempt, of course, but the most common type of FOIA rejection to experts is what's known as a B-5. That provision allows agencies to withhold internal discussions among officials that occur before decisions are reached. What agency denies the most requests? That would be the State Department, which last year, according to the report, granted only 51% of its FOIA requests. Doesn't the State Department deal with a lot of classified or sensitive information? The Center for Effective Government says yes, but other agencies that also deal with such information consistently achieve better disclosure rates. That's the short answer.